So you worked your ass off. You filmed a great video, spent time editing it. You uploaded it to YouTube. You used the right tags, the right title, everything. And then, how do they repay you? Nothing. 10 views, maybe 15, maybe 100 views. You're stuck with no views. Hi there, I'm Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com and today we're going to talk about how to get more YouTube views. I got some tips coming up from Clark Keegley, Daryl Eves, Nick Nimmin, Sunny L, um, Video Influencers, Brian Johnson, Zavoto, and my own tips that have gotten me millions of views and tons of subscribers. And we're going to show you how to get tons of views starting right now. Doesn't it just piss you off when you work really hard to get a YouTube video out and then some punk kid falls off of a bike or something and gets a million bazillion views and you're stuck with like 10? Yeah, it pisses me off too. So today what we're gonna do is talk to you about how to get more views. We got some tips coming up from the pros, we got some tips coming up from me, but first and foremost, let's talk about the biggest tip that so few people talk about and that is First of all, let's write more views. And we'll draw the little YouTube y thing, right? More views. Let's talk about more views. So, the first tip and the most important tip is keyword first. All right, what do I mean by this? Do I mean go do some keyword research and title your video that? No. What I mean is that you need to do your keyword research first before you even get your camera turned on, before you even think about the video you want to create. You need to be focused on a keyword phrase first. Plain and simple. This is the top recommended way to get lots of views. Why? Because when you focus on keywords that get views already, you are going into a pool that already has traffic. You don't need to invent traffic. You see, that's the key to YouTube is realizing that people are on YouTube anyway. They're there, they're searching, they're watching things, they're watching things based on their interest. And the way to find their interest is to do the keyword research first. Now, you can use keyword tools like Google AdWords tool you can use some fancy paid tools usually the Google keyword tools plenty you can also use YouTube and see what the related videos are and what the related searches are this is by far my friends the most important thing so before you turn your camera on before you set out to make a video find the keyword phrase that you want to talk about second you got to make your video about that okay now we're in 2017 Google's really smart Google actually transcribes your video, goes through the transcription, has an algorithm that ranks it based on what you're talking about. So if I say, let's get more YouTube views over and over in my video, obviously making sense. We don't want to be idiots and just go more views, more views, YouTube, more views, yay, whatever, right? We want to make it make sense. Then what you want to do is you want to make your content about the keyword. This makes it super easy because then I'm not just guessing what I want to put out and hoping that my visitors want it. I'm actually designing this based on why they're here, based on why they're searching in the first place. So create content around the keyword, very important. Okay, now tags and everything, that's all gonna come in, right? Obviously, you put your tags in the title. We all know this stuff. Obviously, you're gonna put your tags in your keywords in your, um, your description. Obviously, you're gonna make tags around the keywords and put them in YouTube. Really cool, very important. Now, let's talk about some of the tips from some other guys, and then we're gonna round it all together so that you can watch this one video and go out and get a bunch of views. So, uh, Clark Keegley says, number one is research. Okay, that's, that's really cool you got to do research that's kind of like our keyword first okay you want to do research see what has views okay if I go in the Google keyword tool and I find out that the word gelinic curve which is actually one of my top videos on my alcoholism channel gets very few searches but then I go to YouTube and I see that these videos are blowing up and getting lots of traffic here's the thing non-competitive right it's not competitive I'm not gonna go for the word alcoholic that's insane, I'm not gonna get it. 
But if I go for gelinic curve, I know that those people searching for that word are interested in the same thing. So I could slowly but surely get one keyword for gelinic curve, get a few thousand views, get another one, get a few thousand more views, another keyword, another keyword, another keyword, another keyword. All the while these videos are getting a few thousand views each, I am now building my channel and becoming the authority in my market. This is how it works. I'm not going to go out there and put a hundred videos for the word alcoholic. It's not going to happen. Google's going to be like, you're a spammer. You suck. You're not going to get any views. You're not going to get any rankings. And people are going to get tired of watching your shit. Not good. So what we want to do is we want to make a plan based on the keywords that our market's looking for. If I'm going for make money online and that's the market I want, I'm going to go for like AdSense and affiliate marketing and you know how to get traffic and what are meta tags and things like that. Very important, okay? So we got to look at that. So Clark Keegley says research. He says longer videos. All right, good. So he says make your videos longer, make them engaging, and make them fun to watch, right? Because YouTube is going to look at watch time. Okay? They're going to look at how people spend time on your video. If people are only watching the first eight seconds and being like, you suck, right? The watch time is going to be low. Now, Google Rewards, or YouTube, which is Google, okay, kind of synonymous, they reward videos that are watched, engaging, and get people to interact, okay? So comments are big, watch time is big, all this stuff. And if you get a good watch time, boom, you're going to pop up in the search, boom, you're going to pop up in the related videos, boom, your traffic and your channel is going to take off, okay? He also says, number three, upload with tags and things like that. Very important, right? This is why we do our keyword research first. Get your keyword, okay? Make sure you can rank for it. We got other videos uh, that I'll link to at the end of this that'll talk about that, okay? We're gonna get that, we're gonna take our keywords, we're gonna make our keywords in our tags, we're gonna put it in our title, we're gonna put it in our description. Don't spam, make it make sense. Give good quality information. Uh, number four, he says, don't complain. Okay, yeah, that's that's a given. All right, and then he says, go for long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are good, but I don't like the idea of long tail because it assumes that instead of like gelinic curve, I'm gonna go for gelinic curve for alcoholics progression chart. I'm not gonna do that, okay? I can go for gelinic curve and then I could put in sub category words. Okay, now you could put in subcategory words, like I could do gelinic, I could do gelinic curve, I could do gelinic progression chart, alcoholic, and I can actually make videos about each of these, and boom, I'm gonna start getting traffic. This is how I went from zero to like a bunch of views in the alcoholic market, which is competitive. It's ridiculous. Okay, so that's what Clark Keegley says. Now, Daryl Eves, who is like the king of the YouTube, right? Um, he has a six step thing. He says, number one, keyword research. Excellent, good, we like that, that's the key. But before you turn your camera on, do your keyword research, figure out who you're talking to. He also says, take a look at popular vids, okay? Now, I noticed that the popular videos for Jelinek Curve sucked, right? It was a bunch of professors going, well, the Jelinek Curve is like this, my friends, and what you want to do? And I said, well, let's do a really good job, right? Let's focus on making a good job, and boom, we own the top two spots on YouTube and Google for this keyword. It kicks ass, right? So take a look at what the popular vids are doing. Emulate them. Why? Because even if you don't rank in search, they're going to show up as related videos. Related videos is 60% of your YouTube views. Focus on it. Look at what others are doing. Really, really focus, okay? So don't upload a funny video and be like, I hope it goes viral. Make it go viral by doing this stuff. Number two, he says, um, he says, focus on a call to action, okay? He, he says you wanna put your keyword in your description and your call to action in your description. This is something I haven't yet done, but we're gonna take a look at it, where you actually put your call to action, like maybe a subscribe link, maybe something else, which is another tip, right? Get subs, because subscribers will watch your video. You know, if you have like a thousand subscribers that are brand new, you could probably get a hundred views on a video just because you put it out. Right, not you don't even have to do anything. It could be the lamest video with the stupidest title. You're gonna get traffic anyway. Now, if you do all this with your subscribers, boom, you're gonna get engagement. Your watch time's gonna go up because your subscribers have said, we like you, so it's gonna go up and everything's gonna compile. This is about building a channel by going up the steps and compiling it. He says, number three, transcribe your video 
put it in the description. Okay, this is something I haven't done yet either. Google transcribes your video. There's a little tab you can click in your YouTube account. You can transcribe it. You can put that as the description if you want, and then that's gonna help you get more views as well. All right, he also says a good thumbnail. Oh, two, see I can count. Three, good thumbnail, okay? Why is a thumbnail good? Why would anyone care about a thumbnail? Because that's what the viewer sees. So if he's going through and he's looking at these videos and he's wondering which video to watch, and yours is like, you know, something cool or something entertaining to get them to click, hey, you're gonna get the click, all right? Now there's a fine line between clickbait and good stuff, okay? Now, I kind of ride the line because we want to get people to click, we want to make it interesting, but we don't want to be like, watch this video and make a million dollars, you know, unless you're teaching that, right? But we don't want to be like, watch this video, guy falls off bike or whatever, and then the video is like me talking, okay? It's got to give what it promised, okay? The idea of clickbait is kind of a bait and switch. What we want to do is we want to bait and get them to watch based on the content, get them to like it, right? If the first part of your video doesn't deliver on the promise of your thumbnail, your watch time is going to go down and that sucks and you're not going to get views and you're not going to be this guy right here all right he also says annotations now annotations went away um, a couple months ago so we're going to skip that one and then he says you know great engage create engaging content right get them engaging teach them something good all right next we got nick Niminen, Niminen, something like that. Sorry, Nick, maybe you can correct me and we'll put you in a video or something like that. All right, he says, uh, branding watermark for subscribers. Good, okay, now, in your video, you can do all kinds of like overlays and cool stuff. All right, whatever editing software you're using, you can do branding. Okay, that's why um, in my videos I started doing, hey, welcome to the backyard office, subscribe, you're gonna get cool videos, okay? We wanna get people to subscribe, and if you like this, you're gonna wanna subscribe, so click the button, click the little bell, get people to click the bell, right? The bell, all right, we're gonna try to draw a bell, ding, 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 right? The bell notifies them of your video, so they're gonna go boom, instantly all your subscribers get notified of your new video which boosts it up which gets more watch time which fuels the whole funnel guys if you do this right your videos will take off because the funnel is huge and we're going to talk more about the funnel and how to deliberately drive it in some other videos so you're going to want to check it out you're going to want to subscribe click the bell and you're going to check out videohacks.com uh, as we come out with new stuff he also says focus on your channel so nick's stuff is good he says focus on your channel okay this is good because people are gonna visit your channel and they're gonna look at featured content, they're gonna look at your channel links, they're gonna look at your playlists. Playlists are huge. Uh, this is one a lot of the people talk about here. Playlist, okay? Playlists are your way of telling Google and YouTube that this stuff is about this stuff, right? I just ranked a video on the top of Google, MSN, Yahoo in about 53 seconds using a competitive keyword about Amazon profits, right? Awesome. In a matter of seconds, because I use this stuff, right? It works really, really well. All right, upload defaults. Now he says set your upload defaults. Okay, why set your upload default? Because you wanna have all your links. So in your description, you have a link to you, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, whatever, right? And your defaults will boom, it'll have that there so you don't forget it. You can edit and take out, but it'll have it there. Okay, this is something that I have yet to do that I'm gonna get into as well. Um, and he says, your description, right? Description is very important. Most, most of it, these guys are saying the top two lines of your description are the most important, right? The top two lines need to say what your video is about based on, you guessed it, your keyword first. Very, very important. All right, let's go on to Sunny Lenarduzzi. I think I said it right. Sorry, Sunny, if I didn't. Number one, she says, go for research, okay? Research is the key. Before you turn your damn camera on, turn your brain on, turn your AdWords tool on, turn your YouTube on, and see what's out there. See what's going on. Go after the low-hanging fruit and get in there, right? You gotta get in that wedge where the traffic's already at. She says there's three things she does for social media. Number one, or for research. Number one, social media. What are people doing? What are they liking? What are they sharing? Remember, YouTube is like a social network, right? They comment, they look at stuff, they have channels, kinda like a social network. You can get subscribers and things like that. So check out what's going on. 
uh, B, use the Google Planner, and C, use the YouTube search bar. When you search in YouTube, they're gonna give you keyword recommendations and based on what's going on. Write those down, use those as video ideas, use them in your description, use them as new titles, right? Use them to create new stuff. Content is everywhere. You should never run out of content unless you're just totally being lazy. All right, number two, she says, title your description, okay? So title, title, and descript. Okay, title and description. Okay, use your keywords and use the sub keywords you found in the drop down for the recommended stuff. Okay, she says number three, transcribe your video. Okay, this is a theme that they're all saying that's pretty good. And she also says number five, cross promote. Pretty cool, how do you cross promote? you put some links. Remember how I said 60% of the videos um, are from related videos and things? Some of them are your own related videos. So if you wanna boost a new video up, put it at the end screen of your old videos. Boom, hey, what to watch next? Put that there, boost it up. I've gotten videos to go from like zero to 30,000 views using this method because it's very important. Uh, we're gonna talk about another one. I gotta write down here so I remember. Okay, uh, she says cross promotion. Okay, you can promote it on YouTube, you can promote it on your blog. Uh, Videohacks.com is gonna have all the tools for that. Watch that site, make sure you subscribe to that site uh, and this channel to get all that stuff. Okay, uh, cross promotion, and then encourage people to share it, right? If you like this video, go share it. If you wanna practice how to do that now, get the little share button below on YouTube, copy it, go put it on Facebook. Say, hey guys, check this out. I just watched this cool video about ways to get more views on YouTube and it's really good. The guy's kind of crazy and weird, but you might like it and put it on there. Try it right now. You can pause this video, go try it and boom, the next one you do for you, maybe it'll be better than the one you did for me. I don't know. At least you could practice, right? So that's how it works. So encourage sharing. Now, Video Influencers, who has a huge channel, says uh, rank in search, okay? He says it's better to rank in Google search than in YouTube search. Okay, that's debatable, but usually you get both if you do it right. Okay, there's another video at the end of this we're gonna talk about the keyword strategy. You're gonna wanna watch that. It's a little long, but it's worth it. Awesome stuff, okay? Uh, number two, he says collaborations. Collaborate with other big YouTubers. This is something I'm getting into now. Um, starting to, haven't really done much in the past. I started doing one with Evan Carmichael and some other people who reached out to me. I didn't even know collaborations existed before that. Um, so you can collaborate with other people in your niche. You can interview them, stuff like that. Number three, consistent, creative, quality content. Consistent. My views on my live streaming went through the roof when I started saying every Wednesday at four o'clock Eastern time, we hop on a live call. Wednesday, four o'clock Eastern. Yay, everyone liked it. I also started one on Fridays, which is getting almost as many views as the old Wednesday one that's been around for years. We used to do webinar, now we're doing YouTube uh, for video. So Video Hacks has a live one on Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. So you want to check it out, subscribe, click the bell, and YouTube will tell you all about it, right? Really cool stuff. Um, consistent and cre uh, creative. So you want to be consistent. If you're doing three videos a week, stick to three videos a week. This is something I suck at, getting better, but uh, you know, say, hey, new videos at eight o'clock on Wednesday or whatever it is. Okay, next, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snap, Periscope, use all that stuff to drive people to your views. Now, if you're just starting out, just start on, on YouTube, get to that other stuff later. There's plenty of stuff on YouTube. Let's get to Brian G. Johnson. He's got a bunch of tips. I stripped out the best ones. He says, um, for better ranking, you wanna use your titles and your keywords and focus on what people search for, right? Focus on search. If you focus on search, you're never gonna run out of views, you'll be happy. He says do a playlist, make sure your playlist is the official playlist, okay? He says title update. Now, this is a good tip. Say your video goes up or you have old videos that suck and they're not getting that many views. You can go in and you could rework those. So if you have it for like make money and you're like, well, my video was really about AdSense, I think I could refine. You could do like make money on AdSense, maybe get some more views by targeting a different word. So you could go through and do this on your videos and refine them to get more traffic. Um, but the key is make it based on the content of the video, okay? Because if you're like, hey, you know, funny cat video and they go to an internet marketing video, they're not gonna like that. Okay, uh, he says title update based on views and stats. This is a big one, read your stats. Brian is the king of reading stats. Um, he says, read your stats, read your stats, read your stats. Why do you read your stats? Because you're gonna find out 
hey, check it out. These people are coming from top 10 things that happened after I drank. I wasn't even targeting that term. Boom, I made a video about it, thousands of views overnight. Really, really cool. All right, uh, his fifth tip is get them to subscribe within the first 30 seconds. Within the first 30 seconds, tell them what they're gonna learn. Say, hey, if you like this, subscribe, boom, done deal. Zivio says, do lots of related tags and use TubeBuddy. We're gonna do a video on TubeBuddy next. I'm gonna unbox it, get into it. Uh, that's something I haven't gotten into yet. I was a little worried about logging in with it, but it's YouTube certified, so I'm probably just being a wuss. Um, so it works really good. Okay, now, um, something how-to. The how-to guy says thumbnails, title, and keyword, tags, playlist, and collabs. So as you can see, this stuff like really works. Um, Caleb has some good ones as well. Caleb has the idea of people using what he calls micro decisions. I love this. Caleb, dude, freaking awesome. Micro decisions. What's a micro decision? Well, you're on your computer and you're making micro decisions all day. Do I, throughout this video, you've watched, you've made thousands of micro decisions. He said, well, that's a good tip. That's a bad tip. I should probably go check Facebook. This is lame. Marcus has a funny looking haircut. I just got it cut yesterday. Marcus is too short. His drawings suck. I wish he had a different, you're making all these micro decisions to stay or go. Your customers and your visitors are doing the same thing. They're making decisions based on your thumbnail, based on your title, based on your description. Should I watch this video? You need to make the decision for them and make it so compelling that they want to watch the video. So I like that. He says short, subtle, steady. Now his, his idea is shorter videos. Um, I don't know about this. I guess it depends on the content, right? This video is pretty long, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and put some comments below. Um, but I haven't had that much success with short videos. He has, so to each his own. All right, next, uh, make engaging titles. Instead of like AdSense Profit or AdSense, do how to make money on AdSense. Or one of my top videos was the $201,000 AdSense check. Went crazy, people clicked it, they liked it because they wanted to see the check. People like to gawk. Even though we hate that part of our society that likes to like rubberneck at everyone what they're doing, that's a fact. It's a fact of society. I hate it, but I gotta get involved in it if I wanna get the views. If you want to command the attention, do something worthy of the intention. Doesn't mean you have to be an idiot, just means you have to provide good content based on what they're searching for. And then last, he says, optimize the first three lines of your description, okay? So these are the tips, uh, very important. Uh, another tip I wanted to get to is do live streaming. YouTube Live will kick butt. You can get so many views. I usually get triple the views when I do a live one as opposed to a regular. Again, you can schedule a live one. You don't have to be, I mean, you can even just do a recorded video live if you want, uh, but I like to do them live because it's interactive and my, my people like it. So if you like to do live, uh, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern, Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern, we do that. So this is how this works. If you go up the staircase and you focus and you keep doing this and you keep focusing on keywords you can get and you keep looking at your stats and you keep doing all this stuff, your YouTube channel will grow, you will get more views, you will get more subscribers, and you'll be famous and make money if that's what you're into. Really cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to get more views. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you like this. And then watch that video over somewhere. There's a video that's going to pop up. Watch that one. It's going to talk about YouTube keywords. Thanks again. I'm Marcus from AffiliateMarketingDude.com, and I'll see you in the next video.